Ladies and gentlemen, today we are back with another new episode of Red Light Questions. We got about 29 comments, if I'm not mistaken, today to go over. There was like 70-something of them, so I apologize we can't get through every single comment. But I'm really looking forward to getting into the comments that we will be discussing today. First comment from Tony Lander said, keep up the good work. Thank you so much for that. And then Skag Leon said, Sim, great episode, little bro. Last night's Boosted live stream was great with Ryan. Daddy Dave and Stinky Pinky were also commenting along with us. Hope you saw live because we mentioned you a lot. Hoping Boosted at some point will have you on. But I think right now he's having one or two racers on during his live streams to recap their point of view, which is good behind the scenes look. I really think Chief will wear the Betsy shirts during a filming. T-T-V-E-K-O-K-O. God bless. And I'm going to send, I'll send him a shirt. I'm going to send him one of the first ones of the new Street Race Talk shirts once those end up getting made. And thank you so much for that comment right there. That really meant a lot. Then Couch Lock said, with all the auctioneer comments, name your show the Outlaw Auctioneer. Welcome to the Outlaw Auctioneer, folks. Edit, call your Q&A, Outlaw Outlook. And I think it's kind of funny you left that comment because we initially started Red Light Questions as just literally just a normal Q&A necessarily about me. Not necessarily about Street Outlaws, because it started when I'll be driving home from school, what it was, I don't remember if it was first semester freshman year or second semester, I think it was second semester we started it, and I was doing it just driving home, because I was like just bored driving home during the week, and like, well, this will make something worthwhile driving home from school one day during the week, and it was just literally you guys asking me questions, then once that stopped because the pandemic and I was unfortunately not driving back or not unfortunately fortunately not driving back and forth in school anymore I kind of just went out of the garage and started filming Betsy instead of reading the just questions because I would write down every single question I just started reading all the comments and it's kind of just snowballed into what we have now but hey you guys seem to enjoy it and I enjoy making these so I'm just going to continue to do it how we're doing I don't plan on changing the name anytime soon but the name Outlaw Outlook I might that's a good name. If I make another series, that'll definitely be one of the names I will strongly consider. Thank you for that right there. I thought that's a good name. Then John Edwards said, how long would it typically take to build a car that could be on the 405 list? Example, if Farm Trek Nation were to build a new car, given their experience and knowledge, three, six, nine, 12 months, maybe more. Well, Big Chief did it in six days, eight days when they built the new Crow. Although that was like literally every waking hour they spent on that car. Typically, it takes a couple months for these guys to build their cars. I mean, right now, it's kind of all over the place because some guys have been building their cars for a while and they build it as they're doing other stuff and they build kind of just on the side. Some guys will devote all the stuff they got going on at that current moment of time. So it really does vary. I'm going to say like an average of, I want to say six months typically is the average from nothing to a car like look at john quick right now he's building a car he started off with literally a bone stock pontiac gto and we're gonna see him go through the entire build and build the entire thing so i'm i want to say six months obviously i don't have too much personal experience with that myself so i don't feel like i can make a true strong estimate to that time but that's just the quick idea that i got in my head and think about six months on average then tim shamblin said sim your show was great i really enjoyed the back and forth we had on the 35th live stream you don't talk funny but sometimes we have to listen fast but that's okay i love cars and racing built my first engine in 72 and have been a certified mechanic since 78 i am disabled and have all day to watch videos i'll try to let you know if any news that i find out i know you are busy with school and other things and probably don't have a lot of time i will try and help you in any way I can. Thanks again for the great videos and hope to see you Monday night. Thank you so much for that, man. And I thought it was funny. Someone, I don't remember where I saw it. I'll address this in the live stream. Uh, well, you guys have already seen the live stream, but I'm recording the live stream tonight. I'm actually recording this on Monday, so I'm recording the live stream tonight. But someone said somewhere, like, so is the first episode of Street Outlaws, like the four or five, you commented about that. Then the mega cash is you kind of just talk with the chat. I had no intention of doing that in any way, shape, or form, but uh, you guys were just talking so much in the chat. And I was having so much fun, so we kind of just put Street Outlaws to the side and just talked in the chat for the whole two hours, but we still watched it as we were talking and stuff, but yeah, I mean, I am, I guess you could say pretty busy, and the thing is, someone else left another comment that said, how do you find all this news, and from doing this for so long, the news kind of just finds me, and I have so many people that reach out to me, and tell me information, and give me stuff, I don't really do too much searching myself anymore, it's kind of, I mean, I mean, I guess from over five years of doing this, it's kind of gotten to a point where the news literally just comes to me and I just have to talk about it. Then Tom Selica said, Monza looked like a deer in headlights on his channel. Not my favorite person to watch. And then he said, Sean's channel is okay. 
not much editing, so I don't watch much, too much filler for me, then Kamikaze Chris is the best at YouTube, but fire above Fireball, who I don't watch either. Maybe I'm too picky, but hey, it's my time to be picky with it. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my stuff. And Bonds' channel, I didn't, like, with that, I left it as almost, uh, I left a comment on his most recent video. He went hunting. I was like, this is the kind of content that people have been wanting to see. And I was like serious about that because, I mean, it was a joke in the Chief and Challenge Show, but seriously, like, I'd, I'd rather watch on YouTube rather than mine that do stuff with, like, cars and stuff because, you know, everyone does that. See him do more of, like, his own personality, like, go hunting, fishing. Like, if he posts fishing videos, I'll start watching those for sure. I'd love to watch that. And that's just kind of my perspective on it. And everyone does their own thing. And these guys aren't, They've never created their own content themselves. You know what I mean? There's always been other people filling it for him. So right at the beginning now, like what you said with Sean's channel, how there's a lot of filler stuff. I do agree with that. Some points get a little like lengthy and drawn out. Sorry, my foot is stuck on my charging cord. I don't know why. But back to, back to what I was talking about. With Sean's channel, I do agree on 1 7 Customs. It does get there a little bit. But I've noticed it's been less and less. You know what I mean? The videos on overall through everyone has just been getting better and better than Andy Saxberg said, let's face it, it's up to you, Sim. Only you can bring Tuesdays truly back. Please, man, I don't want to be stuck in on Monday forever it, like some wacky limbo street racing purgatory. We all are counting on you. And I guess, man, you might be right. It's all on my shoulders to try and bring the Chief and Sean show back. I'm going to try and See, the thing is, you guys have already seen what happened. So tonight is Monday night, the live stream for this week. You guys have been seeing this the following Wednesday. And tonight, if 187 Customs are in there once again, I'm going to ask them something about trying to make, not the Chief and Sean, but like something similar to like a weekly scheduled video. If you if you saw the live stream, you'll already know what I'm talking about. But I mean, because I was really thinking about this a lot. and like, that's what people want to see the most. We have all this other content out there. You'd think people would stop talking on the Chief and Sean show, but yet people still want to see that above all else. I'm sure a majority, if not all of this Chief and Sean show fans would be happy right now if the TV show stopped and we got the Chief and Sean show every single Tuesday. In my opinion, I'm not going to lie, I'd probably enjoy that. I don't know if I'd, I mean, I, it's a weird situation there because I don't know. Most people I do feel like would enjoy the Chief and John Show on the TV show. And I think it's something that a lot of people truly want to come back. And it's something that I feel like you just said. I mean, it's almost my responsibility now to try and bring that back. Hopefully one day, hopefully one day, the Chief and John Show will return. Then Leon Thompson said, build Betsy so that you are able to compete. Put a big block 440, turbo 400, and 49 inch rear end, an 80 millimeter pro charger. That will get Betsy competitive. And I was actually thinking about this last night. I mean, what are the odds that you left this comment account here, made this video the next day? And I was thinking about this last night about what I, like, what do I want to do in Street Outlaws? What do I want to do? What do I want to try and achieve in it? And I was thinking about this a lot. And I, I feel that as cool as it would be to race, to try and get involved with that, I don't necessarily feel that would be the best path for me, if you know what I'm saying. Because... Looking at what I genuinely love to do and what I feel I'm actually good at, like something that separates me from the rest is my ability to kind of talk about this stuff and make these kinds of videos right here. Like I'm just sitting here talking. Well, the videos I've been uploading in these past couple of weeks, like during this time of year, I just sit and talk in front of the camera and we have thousands of people that watch every single week. I feel like I got something with this and I want to try and run with that rather than trying to be competitive in racing. As cool as it would be and as much as I would enjoy it, I don't feel that with my skill set, that would necessarily be the best path for me. I would much rather try and, like I say, maybe commentate over something or maybe get to a point where I'm on the TV show myself talking about stuff or just keep continuing to make these videos, talking with other people, talking about this stuff right here. That's just, I feel like that's my strongest or my... My best, I was going to say strongest strength. My best strength is just my ability to, to simply talk. Then Richard Wise said, well, it's awesome seeing everyone asking where you were on Boosted's live stream this week. And I apologize. I actually missed it. I found this new TV show I've been watching or not. I, I don't know if you, yeah, this new show I've been watching. It is the best show I've ever seen in my life. It is phenomenal. And I unfortunately missed the live stream because watching that instead. But this Monday's live stream. A Tuesday's live stream. I'm all thrown off for the days. This Tuesday's live stream, I will in fact be there commenting with all you guys because the week I was there was the week Sean was on and so many people were in there commenting with me and hearing all the people say we were giving you shouts and stuff in the live stream during the chat from this last live stream when uh, what Ryan Martin was there. I'm like, man, 
I got to turn up every single week for this. My fans are in there shouting me out. I got to be there myself, so I'll be sure to be there this Tuesday, which would have been yesterday for you all. The crazy time zone we're in right now. Then Joe Hill said, love the videos. You're the only one I watch when it comes to Street Owls. And Farm Chuck said he is done with the list, and they would rather do what they want instead of having to adhere to the rules of the list. And one, like, final thought I have about that is maybe not necessarily have Farm Truck Nation build a car to, you know, be competitive on the list, rather than have them have a vehicle, whether it be the Farm Truck, Dung Beetle, the hearse, once that's done, and have that be, if you want to get on the list, you have to beat them. You know what I mean? Like, the gatekeeper of the list, although it's not number 10, it'd be the, it, not even a number on the list, I want to say. It's just if, it's like the qualifying to run for the list. You have to beat the Farm Truck in order to get on the list. I think that would be the, the best case scenario for them to try and do something with the list, in my opinion. Then Jonathan Goodrich said, good one. Thank you from Huntington Beach, California, 405 all the way. Then Juan Gonzalez said, hey, Sim, when Trisha crashed the dart, she smacked that thing up pretty hard and the seatbelt broke. She was thrown into the car. She's okay now and the car is fixed. As far as Farm Truck and Asian, I would like to see them build a hot rod for the list and keep it just for build a hot rod for the list and keep the farm truck just for fishing my bad as always sim keep the great work and let's go sim thank you so much for that right there and then joe g said good video sim hope you have been doing good keep the videos coming i've been doing good man i mean with school, school and stuff right now it's just like i mean we're like as humans you know we're creatures of habit i guess you say and i've just been doing the same like routine every single day just get up and go to the gym out although i'm hurt right now it kind of sucks i i was squatting last week it was last wednesday and I don't remember if I was go if I had just I was still warming up. I don't remember if I just grabbed the bar and do front squats. If I just grabbed the bar and was stepping back, or if I was just getting up from like after squatting down. But I heard right in the middle of my spine, right below the shoulder blades, just I was like, oh my god, and it hurt so bad. I was actually going to the doctor a couple hours later for something else. I had hurt another muscle in my back actually, so I was actually going there already. I'm like, hey. I actually hurt something else in my back. Could you check this out too? And he was like pushing. I was like, oh, 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 I hurt so bad. But it was, I, he said it was either, he said, I, he, I didn't pull anything. He's like, maybe it's just strained. Most likes it's just super tight. Like, well, hey, it hurts. It hurts to like rotate. Still kind of hurts now. I'm getting back into things, but I just kind of have, went off on a weird tangent right there. Apologize about that. But I kind of just have like that routine and habit just grinding through right now. Just looking forward to uh, the end of this semester and just looking for to forward to summer because i love summer so much making videos every single day it's so much fun looking forward to that and yeah i'm doing good right now just on that grind right now then barry p said hey sim i want you to answer this question for me why is it called team nolo and most of them are from mississippi and i honestly don't know i don't know they had street outlaws new orleans and yeah a lot of these guys are from mississippi i mean i don't know i mean i think street outlaws nola or new orleans sounds better than street outlaws mississippi in my opinion so that's probably why they did it but that's that, that's that age old question, my friend, and no one seems to have a true answer to. Then Dan Lundquist said, "What happened to the mad scientist from Australia? I've not seen Farm Truck Nation with the mad scientist in the clips from airing the new show. Keep on keeping on. If I'm not mistaken, he helps them still because I thought I've heard them mention him multiple times in their YouTube channel." I could be wrong about that, but if I'm not mistaken, he does still help them here and there. Then Gerald Whistle Jr. said, hold on a minute. Zorro, you don't know who Zorro is, and you say you can speak Spanish but don't know Zorro. I bet your dad knows. I'm, I, I can't speak Spanish. I can say a couple words here and there. I'm and By no means can I speak Spanish in any way, shape, or form. But the only Zorro I know isn't, isn't Zorro, that character from One Piece, the guy with the green hair. I think that Zorro. That's the only one I know. I don't know the one you guys are talking about. Then you left another part of your comment right here. Said, far as all the new YouTube channels might have to do with a new contract with Discovery slash Pilgrim. Fast and Wild Gas Monkey Garage did a re-sign with Discovery. Says that Discovery wanted to control Gas Monkey social media. So they were like, hell no. So maybe that Street Outlaws gang decided they want to control the social medias and got it. And we actually addressed this with this most recent episode of Street Race Talk. And a lot of people bring that up as well. They probably had like some renegotiation with the contract stuff. And that's the reason to why we're seeing all this stuff finally after all these years because they finally got those maybe rights or privileges to go out and post all this stuff on their own which i think it is for the better no doubt and josh wagner said ttv east thank you so much for that and then larry tremarkey said nice job sim keep up the good work and then mint condition coin rings you left a comment about that name i spelled out last week it was z-n-e-l-n-o-h-t-y-p and you said is python lens spelled backwards i had to throw that in so i'm like how in the heck did you realize that is that something you knew or you just saw it i'm like i had i couldn't even have guessed that even though it was literally right there i, I didn't even 
notice that in any way, shape, or I say that a lot in any way, shape, or form. I keep someone slept a comment saying you just stop saying that. I apologize if I say that too much. I'll try and limit myself in how much I say that. Then Keith E said, Where's Stinky Picky and Megalodon in the cash days? Thanks, him. If I'm not mistaken, Megalodon is done with all things straight outlaws. And Stinky Pinky, I thought he was there. I thought I saw him out there. I could be wrong, but hey, we'll just have to wait and see. Then Todd Brettenstein said, Sam, the Johnny Lightning is a Hearst Harry Olds. Also, what are your thoughts on all the street owls making their own channels? And possibly, are they anticipating the end of the show? Thanks for that, man. You guys can, yeah, you can see it. I got to figure out where my hand's going. Right there. Oh, there we go. Right there. But... The end of the TV show, I don't believe that's the case at all. I do believe the TV show is just going to continue to grow and get bigger. Especially, too, with we were discussing with the uh, the views and stuff, how it's kind of down on TV. But I'm sure it's up for streaming stuff. I'm sure the fans are continuing to grow every single day. And with the YouTube channels essentially just widening their audience. Because you look at the demographic of Street Outlaws, it's a lot of, like, I'd say the typical viewer is 30 to 50 in there you're missing the number one people on the internet 10 to 20 that's those are the main demographic of people on the internet and she has had no content on there besides like their facebook pages and look at the demographic of people on facebook nowhere close to 10 to 20 so it makes sense to me that they're trying to help grow the brand by having these guys all have their own channels in no way do i believe it's the end of the show anytime soon then chuck fowler said sim Brother, yes, you do have an accent, especially with all the Southerners. Where do you live from your accent? I'm getting Chicago or at least Illinois or like um, Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm we west, like an hour west of Chicago in the suburbs. I don't see. I don't think I have an accent. My family used to make fun of me because apparently when I was little, I had some like crazy New York accent. I, I don't know, maybe, but I guess like certain things I've noticed. I do say kind of weird, but overall, I don't really feel like I have an accent. But yeah, a lot of you guys are from the South, and man, the South is, that's the place to be. You guys got the weather, the food, the cars, the music, that's the, the sports, that's the place to go. I got to get down to the South. Joe Wright said, love the hoodie. These videos keep getting better and better. Keep on keeping on. Thank you for that. There's a couple guys that gave shout outs for the hoodie, and it has that guy on it right there. And for those that have picked out the stuff in the background here, shout out to all of you. I am astonished. People have been able to pick out some of the things I got here. This is this shelf right here is like, people said you should change it for the background of the stewardess talk, but no, this is my childhood right here. I'm not changing this. This is like my favorite stuff when I was younger. And the fact that people have been able to pick that stuff out, hey, big ups to you. That's so cool. Then Scott R said, great video. We'd love to see Proper Organization back on the list. See you next time. Then Dwayne7834 said, good red light video. Just now watching last week's show. Haven't been able to watch on the show night lately. Thanks for the video and information. Hey, thank you for watching. And EG said, how's Chelsea doing this season? Man, I got, I'm changing this, but it, it's pitiful. It's it's. If, I mean, I'm not looking for this kind of abuse here on my channel as well. People making fun of me for Chelsea here on as well. I got my friends making fun of me enough alone. But, man, it's it's ridiculous right now. Then Dave Marshall said, awesome. Got another comment read and another great episode. Keep up the good work. Hashtag TTV. And I try and read as many comments as I possibly can. Some people, I apologize if I missed you this week. Some people, I apologize if I missed you last week. But, hey, I try and get through as many as I can. Try and do some same people each week, some different people each week. I try and change it all. But I'm most proud to say it's as random as I can possibly get it. And the fact that you guys just enjoy me reading your comments out loud, hey, encourages me, me to make these videos so much more. Thank you so much for that. Then Kim... Holter said, you rock as usual. Great job. And that was the final comment for this week's episode of Red Light Questions. And I thank you all so much for watching TTVE to the very end. I felt like when I was reading those comments, I was rattling some of them off real quick, reading them super fast. But hey, that's what it's about. People say, you sound like the, I think it's the Micro Machines guy. People always leave comments about them, but we addressed this a couple weeks ago in Red Light Questions. But I've been seeing those comments more and more here on my channel. And I'm like, I think that guy's got the Guinness World Record for fastest talker in the world. So if anything, you know, that's almost an honor to me for talking that fast. But I enjoy making these videos. I love, I love doing this so much. I thank you all so much for watching TTVE. Make sure you guys tune in on Friday for a new episode of Street Race Talk. Sunday for a new episode of No Prep News. Monday for the new live stream here on my channel. And next Wednesday for another new episode of Red Light Questions. All these videos upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure you click that little bell. Turn on not miss single video. Get my videos. Go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions about anything and everything in the comment section down below. Just about every single comment left in the comment section down below of this week's episode of Red Light Questions will be read and discussed in next week's episode of Red Light Questions. Betsy shirts and hoodies are also available at 76 or first link down below in the description. I also said the P.O. Box.
box or you guys want to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. Again, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at SamABCXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is SamABCXYZ signing out. I think that might have been my fastest one yet.